Hey girls, welcome back to a new weekly vlog. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you girls liked last week's vlog. I feel like this vlog is also going to be a very wintry, vibey vlog. Today I'm actually all dressed up to go to an event this evening, hence the attire. This is not my usual Friday night outfit. But first, let's recap to this morning. I actually went out for the launch of a new watch brand at Harvey Nichols and I filmed some clips, so I'll just insert that here now. morning me and my sister wake up pretty early I was just saying that waking up at like 6 a.m. is very rare for me I feel like waking up at 9 a.m. is probably the optimal time like I peak during the afternoon so waking up before like 9 a.m. it's just not heard of for me so when you wake up at 6 a.m. this morning went to the event it was so fun and it was actually quite a beautiful day although it was really cold it was still really nice and sunny and whenever it's sunny I can go outside and I feel good so that's what matters but right now I'm actually heading off to an event the whole theme like the dress code for the event is like dress to impress and I feel like with this red dress I feel like the red dress is always a moment and she does that by herself but I also try to do like a red lip as well which is a rare thing for me if you guys know me you already know red lip on me is like I try it every now and again to see if I like it but to be fair I feel like I dulled it down like i just pretty much focused on a, like a red lip liner and a gloss on top but yeah outfit details i'm actually wearing this dress from asos that was like probably two years ago now i mentioned this in a vlog like six months ago like when i had an espresso event if you guys watched the vlog you already know as i mentioned in last week's vlog i've been trying to like shop very slowly so i feel like i have a lot of dresses in my wardrobe so i'm just re-wearing them for events and stuff so yeah i'm just wearing this red asos dress that i really like and yeah i need to head off now i feel like i'm running kind of late so let's go Hey my girls, so it's actually a couple of days later and throughout the time that I haven't vlogged I managed to catch a cold, hence why my voice is like going through the motions right now. I was actually really hoping that I was going to miss like the common cold and flu that's going around right now but of course I had to catch it as soon as everyone else like fully recovered. But alhamdulillah I feel like I'm going through the tail end of it. I feel like I'm starting to feel a lot better. The past couple of days I really wanted to vlog for you girls but I was just, I was in bed. I was down bad. <laughs> I was down so bad but I'm feeling better today and today is actually a really exciting day because me and my sisters are going to go watch Harry Potter in the theatres. I've never seen Harry Potter in theatres and I've always 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 wanted to go it was just one of those shows I've always wanted to see I've actually seen Hamilton in theatres a couple of times and I love it I feel like I can never get sick of Hamilton if you guys have not seen Hamilton in theatres yet I would highly recommend I'm a Hamilton girl <laughs> like before I even went to watch Hamilton in theatres the first time I didn't even know what it was about like I was like what is this hype that's going on around Hamilton and I'm glad I like walked into it not knowing a lot because I was pleasantly surprised I didn't have any expectations of like what I was gonna see and stuff but it was so good and the past couple of months I've just been wondering what is gonna top Hamilton that I can go see in theatres theatre shows are really heavily based on like musicals and stuff like that and I'm just not a musical girl like I've never fully sat through what was the show Mamma Mia like I've never watched a whole movie of Mamma Mia and yeah I don't know who the dad is <laughs> I feel like I've started the show a couple of times. I keep on calling it show. I started the movie a couple of times and I've just never like sat through the whole thing. I never found out who her father was. I've been thinking of like what other shows can I watch that I feel like is actually going to be good and I've heard amazing things about Harry Potter. I've always walked past like the theatre that it's shown at and I've always thought to myself I really want to go see Harry Potter. So today is the day that we're going to go see it but before we go I think I have like 20 minutes before I have to leave. I actually got this really exciting advent calendar from Selfridges can we take a moment for that as soon as I got this big box my jaw was on the floor and I honestly just feel so grateful I feel like it's big moments like this that whenever I receive like products from brands I just adore and love um I just feel like wow like I'm actually 
an influencer. <laughs> I've never really talked about like my whole like influencer and like creator journey for the longest time. Like I remember being like 13 years old and just like watching YouTube. And like I used to wake up in the morning and when people would just wake up and watch TV and watch their shows on TV, I just used to love YouTube. Like the YouTube girlies was for me. So it just feels so surreal that for the past two years I've obviously been creating content and stuff and I started posting my own YouTube videos. And now suddenly we hit 50k subscribers on YouTube. That's just I can't believe that I don't know when that's like gonna fully sink in but it's just I'm just so grateful for everyone I'm, <laughs> I'm literally lost for words I'm like how do I say this but I'm honestly just so grateful for everyone that subscribed and for you watching right now honestly I appreciate you so much and you mean the world to me and I feel like whenever I get DMs from you girls it honestly makes my day and I always try to respond to all of you girls and it, last week I was going through like my Instagram DMs and just responding to you all and it was so fun because I started sending voice notes to you girls as well and then a lot of you girls were like I can't believe you responded genuinely girls I try to respond to as much people as I can like if I don't get back to you within like a couple of days I'll definitely get back to you the next week because I try to answer all of your questions and stuff and feel like I just got emotional for the past couple of days when I was like you hit 50k and it's just it's it's unbelievable like the way that I can do makeup right now is because of the YouTube girlies <laughs> the YouTube girlies paved the way for me to like be able to do makeup and like I got so many like fashion inspiration and like sometimes it feels so strange like a little inside scoop and now whenever I go to events and it's around the girls that I used to grow up watching it just feels very interesting <laughs> it just feels so interesting and obviously like I grew up to a lot of them and I just tell them like oh my gosh like it's so lovely seeing you like I grew up watching you and all that kind of stuff so yeah it feels so strange calling a lot of them friends now but um, I feel like I got on a little bit of a tangent just then but what I was going to say is I got this big box from Selfridges and I didn't even open it because I was like I would love to open it with like you girls I feel like I'm just in a gratitude bag right now I hope you all take a moment and just reflect on the whole year I'm sure you did amazingly and just like realise your wins and celebrate your wins that you had for the past year even if you made like 10 goals and you achieved some of them that is still a win i feel like one thing that we all have to realize is like growth is not linear like growth doesn't always look like that sometimes it goes up and down not my alarm going off let me just <laughs> turn that off anyways i need to leave in 10 minutes and i really want to open this package with you guys so let's start opening it firstly can we take a moment for how big this box is it's literally heavy one thing i really hope is that there's the augustina badder like creams i've heard so many amazing things about those creams and currently my skin is feeling so dry so even if there's one of their like ultra moisturizing products i'll be so happy but let's start opening i feel like we have time to open a couple maybe the first five days or something like that can we just take a moment for how beautiful this looks and it comes in like certain drawers and stuff like that i really hope i didn't break it because this stuff is literally so heavy let's try to find the first five days and open that okay so i think i found the first five and oh, oh my gosh i'm so excited i feel like opening advent calendars are literally like one of the simple pleasures in life even those like chocolate advent calendars i live for oh so the first thing is the refi brow sculpt i live for this stuff it's so funny because i actually just ran out of this like i think it's the clear one i think it might be the clear one but i literally just ran out of the clear brow sculpt and i was gonna buy another one so that's perfect timing and i'm also just wearing the clear brow sculpt now so i feel like that says everything it's so good uh, so i've actually never heard of this product before but it says it's a clarifying serum and it also says it's anti-aging so it's an anti-aging serum designed for oil and blemish prone skin that'll be interesting to use um i'm excited I wonder how much this retails for. Shall we look it up? Because sometimes it's really cool that when you buy advent calendars, they retail like the actual products inside are so much more than what you buy it for, if that makes sense. Wow, so okay, the products inside they retail for over a thousand pounds. So everything inside this is for over a thousand pounds, but you can buy it for two hundred and twenty pounds. That's amazing. Wow okay so i feel like we're gonna get some really good stuff so back to unboxing day three is looking like a very long one. Oh, i feel like i'm gonna get tinsel all over my floor <laughs> oh, okay so the day three is actually an eyeshadow palette shall we do like a quick swatch i feel like we might have just enough time for that okay i feel like this looks like a very much everyday oh and it's so pigmented so the darkest brown looks like that 
like that. I feel like I'm always drawn to the glitter and this looks so good. So this is how the glitter looks like. I love that. I feel like sometimes whenever you get an advent calendar and it's like a beauty advent calendar, sometimes the swatches aren't great because it's not designed for people of melanin <laughs> colours. But that pigment is actually really good. Love that. So okay, day four. Not gonna lie, I don't think I ever have the patience to um, wait each day to open an advent calendar. Like... Whoever can do that, good for them, but I need to know everything. <laughs> so next we actually have a scalp serum. This is how it looks like. It's from Fable and Main. I've never tried any of their products before, I don't think, so we'll save that to the side. Also, I think it's really funny that um, as a hijabi, I really appreciate the brands that send me like hair care products because believe it or not, we do have hair. <laughs> We do have hair. Oh, where's number five? Okay, and the last number five that I will open before we have to go is this long one. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Facial Setting Spray, and I literally just use this. I need to show you how big my actual go-to Charlotte Tilbury bottle is because it's insane. So this is how big my current one is. It's literally the size of my head. I love this stuff so much. If you want your skin to still look like skin after you did your makeup, because sometimes after you apply all like your loose powders, your blush, and stuff like that, your skin can kind of look dry but if you just want to revitalize your skin i would highly suggest using the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless filter setting spray that was kind of a mouthful <laughs> but it's honestly so good i feel like it's definitely one of my go-to products in my makeup kit that i can't live without i feel like setting spray in general just don't overlook it because it can just make your makeup just like marinate onto your skin and just give you a really nice glow which i love but yeah that was such a fun unboxing hopefully i can unbox like Maybe the rest in this vlog or maybe next week's vlog, but we're still looking out for the Augustina Bada Cream because we haven't tried that yet. But that's everything for now. We need to head off and I'm so excited to watch Harry Potter. So obviously I'll take you girls along with me. watching part one of the show and it's just so good i'm so glad you booked both of the shows to happen on one day because at least you can't wait to watch the second part and i feel like the whole production and everything like i'm having a great time but right now we're just gonna go and have some dinner we booked a local like italian spot that i really like and we're gonna have some pasta and just have like some cozy food and then two hours later we're gonna go back and watch the second part which i'm just good vibes my sister is also really loving the show aren't you <laughs> but yeah, let's go! On our walk, we literally discovered this Harry Potter store and I feel like this is just so timely and they have like so many different ones and stuff and they also have the different characters name on each of the ones. We're kind of tempted to get it. I love how it's all like stacked up like this as well. It reminds me of the one store in Harry Potter. I feel like we're really immersing ourselves in the experience right now. My little sister said she wants these for her birthday. You want this middle one, right? <laughs> oh, I love this. What are the odds that we literally walked into the store when we were walking down the street? That is so funny. If I were to get anything, I'll probably get one of these like necklaces. <laughs> Girls, look how cool this frame is. Like it literally changes when you move. It's a little 3D video frame moment. <laughs> So we just finished up with our pastas and it was so yum. Now we're probably just going to go and chill at a cafe for like half an hour. And then I feel like we're going to have another half an hour to spare so we might just like grab our seats and stuff. But yeah, right now my sister's going to get some matcha. I feel like my sister loves matcha, especially during this time of the year. I don't really like like cold drinks and stuff, but she's getting her matcha. I'm going to get... I'm going to... Are you laughing? She's getting her matcha and I'm looking forward to having a tea and like some maybe milk cake. I feel like milk cake is really nice right now. Now. But yeah, we're in Chinatown. We 
decided to go for the milk cake and the tiramisu to share as well. I've had this a couple of times and it's honestly so good. 